everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're going to be touring the awesome island of Cooperside created by Eddie Sean on Twitter. So let's go ahead and get started. And right here we already have our buildings. We have the Ab Able Sisters building and we have a villager house. Who lives here? Raymond! Oh, Raymond is so cute. I know he's so, so popular, especially like on social media. People post like pictures about him or like how much they want him or if they have him, they post pictures of him on their island. I'm kind of jealous. I want Raymond for myself. Also, I've never seen this statue before. Is this a rare one? Is this a rare piece of art? I don't, I don't ever seen it. I like it. It looks like something you'd put in a really nice, like, mossy garden. Like a mossy river type garden. And another thing. I, ha I don't think I've seen blue roses yet. If I have, I guess I didn't notice. I love blue roses. I feel like the blue roses are the prettiest color of rose in the game. So, 10 out of 10 so far. We've barely seen anything and it's already awesome. So, let's go over here. This is amazing! Look at this! So we've got these nice lamps. I think either it's just supposed to be fish or it's Pisces. I, I, I don't know. But either way, it's gorgeous. I love it. And the Lily of the va Valley flowers really just complement the fountain being right there in front of the waterfall. It's placed so nicely. And this is their entrance! This is gorgeous! And then we have the statues up here with the lights being up there. And then the floor lights down here. Oh my goodness, I love it! And then we have another statue over here. I'm probably not supposed to walk in this, but like, I'm just trying to explore, you know? I really, really like this. I really enjoy a good flower slash rock garden where it's not 100% flowers, but it's not 100% statues either. I really, really like how the white of the statue complements the whiteness of the flowers, but also the yellow flowers, and they just, they just look really good together. And here's Raymond! Let's say hello! Hi, Raymond! Hey, can you tell me what I'm doing here? I was eating spicy food a second ago, and now I'm here. So cute. Okay, I've seen these everywhere. I want these star fragment lamps. I want some. Uh, I don't have a DIY recipe. Uh, I don't have any of that for I don't have any star fragments, period. So, like, if somebody could be so kind as to gift it to me, I would love that. I'm just kidding. You don't have to do that. Ooh, what do we have over here? Okay, let's see how I can get over there. I I'm a little bit lost. How do I get over here? Okay, there we go. Ooh, I like this. It's like a very royal throne. I've never seen anybody else do that either. It's like a throne for royalty only. And I really like the gold bars. I kind of want that. I think I have the blue version of this phone, like a teal blue. Okay, I'm going to go around because I want to sit on that bench. Let's go. There we go. Ooh, and there's a cute little radio. Love that touch. All of the Zodiac furniture, I want it. I want it so bad. I want to make like a Zodiac room or something. That'd be cool. Ooh. We got like a beach hangout area. I want one of these beach towels. I've seen so many of them. And you could put like custom designs on them, I think. I think. I might be wrong. Uh, I hope you can because that's what I want to do. And we've got a little beach throne like I was just saying. It's shell themed. Love that. And a cute little hula girl. Is this a lamp? No, okay. It's just a... Ooh. It's a stool. I thought that was a lamp. And you can play with these. Excuse me. So you can, if you press A, you can make them do that. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and check the map to see where else we can go. Let's see. Okay, so it looks like right now we're at the very bottom of the map. And I've kind of just explored the bottom left. I think what I'll do is I'll make my way around the map. I'll go up, explore that whole section, go to the right, explore the top and the right sections, and go downwards, explore that section, and we'll meet back up where we are right now. So let's go ahead and go upwards. Ooh, we've got like a concert area over here. Okay, tell me why the first thing that came to mind when I saw this concert area, the first thing that came to mind was Big Time Rush. <laughs> I know. I know, it's probably not what any of you were thinking either, but like, that's what my mind went to. I really, really love it. And I love how in Animal Crossing you can actually play the instruments, you just press A up against them, and they make sound. And let's go over here. Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's like a galaxy area, and you can watch TV over here, that's so cool. It's like a little outdoor movie watching area. Oh, I love that. Also, I've never seen these lava lamps before. Somebody get me one. Ooh, okay. Wait, is this somebody's house or is this a villager house? Okay, that's a villager house. It took me a second. I thought it was like a smaller character house. Oh, I love this. Okay, I've seen the popcorn machines, but I've never seen a pink one. 
I feel like I like that one better than the red one. The red and yellow one. I think that's like the standard colors for it. Oh, this looks so pretty! And it's kind of like a sunset in the background. Like a very warm sunset. I really like that. We've got a cute little puppet show right here. I love that. That's another thing that I haven't seen. I feel like touring these islands, I have seen so much furniture that I've literally never heard of before. Okay, so I know that that's right here, right next to me, but my plan is I'm going to go around and then I'll get back to that part. Oh, we've got a cute little playground. I love it. Oh, this is so cute. We've got a nice little picnic and a barbecue area. Oh, I love this island. I think it'd be so cute if you could actually use these slides. Like, your character could, like, climb up a little ladder of some sort and then slide down the actual slide. That would be really fun. We've got a nice little cotton candy machine. Oh, I have this. I have this on my island. Oh, these are so much fun. I love this cute little playground. Oh, this is perfect. If there were, like, younger characters in the game, for example, your character is just kind of whatever age that you imagine they are, but, like, if there were, like, little kids in the game, if you will, that whole aesthetic would be perfect for them. I wonder who lives here. Eric's house. Oh, I love Eric. He's cute. And we've got another popcorn machine. Love that. Oh, I love the candles in the game. I feel like these very general candles are a little bit less popular because I feel like I don't see them used as often. I feel like I see people use fancy candles a whole lot more. Okay, I'm going to stop for a second so I can see the map. My Joy-Cons are kind of broken at the moment. Um, I really need to get new ones. Like, it makes me move without me really trying. Ooh, we've got the museum. Oh, I love this. We've got a little trail that we can walk around to go around the museum. Oh, there's Flurry. I have Flurry. Hello. I don't think we've met before. How wonderful. I love seeing new faces here on Cooperside. I hope you enjoy yourself during your stay. Maybe we'll run into each other again, Powderpuff. Oh, she's so precious. Okay, hold up. I really thought that was real. It's just a statue of one, but I thought it was real and it was just gonna like start coming after me or something and I got really scared. <laughs> Let's go up here. Ooh, what's up here? Whose house is this? Okay, I wanna see. This is Rowan's house. Ooh. I think I know who Rowan is. I'm not completely sure. Can we sit on these rocks? Okay, you can't sit on them. In New Leaf, you were able to sit on the rocks like they made an update for it and then you were able to sit on them by just walking up to it like you do with the chair. Oh, this is so gorgeous. Okay, hold on. I'm just going to stand right, like, in the middle. Look at this. Look at it. You can't tell me that isn't beautiful, because it is. Oh, I love it. I really like the color tone over here, how it's the warm, the warmth with the green and the orange and, like, the browns. It all blends together super, super nicely. I'm going to go here and again. Stop so I can look at the map. Okay, we're at the top right now. So I'm going to keep looking around up here, see if there's anything back here behind Flurry. Excuse me. Ooh, we've got a cute little hangout area. I really like when people, whenever they work on their islands and they create smaller areas where they fit items into like this, where it's a small area that you can appreciate, but so much detail still goes into it just like the rest of the island. I really, really have a strong appreciation for when people do stuff like that because it shows that no matter what your island layout is, you can make something out of it and you can make every bit of it awesome. You just have to work at it and work on your creativity and you can have just the best island ever. And I'm, I'm enjoying myself so far. I really like this. Okay. I saw that, but how do I get up there? Maybe if I, like, go to the side or something, I can get up there. Hmm. Ooh, who's that? I see somebody over here. Who are you? Blessing, sweet child. Oh, that's nice. We've got a cute little book club, like, library type area. Oh, I love that. Okay, I've, I've never seen one in real life, but I know these exist, these little, like, outdoor library things where you can put books in there and your whole neighborhood can share books. I really like the idea of that, but also I feel like people could easily steal from it, and that would be really annoying. Well, I really like this. Again, it's one of those times where you fill out a smaller area and you make something out of it. I really like when people get creative like this. Oh, these bags of coffee beans? Oh, that's so cute. Oops. I'm sitting on the coffee beans. Hmm, it's over here. So I'm going to go up here, because there's somewhere I was trying to get to, and I couldn't get there because there wasn't really a ladder. Okay, we got to break this down. We have to break this down. There is so much going on up here. So much color. Okay, so first of all, we've got a nice little picnic with a cute little hula girl. 
the really pretty garden with the purple and blue flowers. Oh, and a nice little butterfly. Okay, let me just say, the way that there's the fountain with the river going around it, I really, really like that. I've seen people do that. I've tried it myself. I feel like it's a super classic way to make your fountains look even nicer and to just make them look really fancy. I really like this. Also, I don't know if anybody else knew this, but with the lawnmowers, you can actually use them. Well, they can't move, but they'll make the noise like a lawnmower. Oh, I love this. Okay, I have the DIY recipe for that. I just haven't crafted it. Ooh, this is so beautiful. Oh, I love this. Okay, we have seen our first house, so let's go inside. I don't think um, there's anybody else living here other than Eddie Sean. So I'm going to go ahead inside and see what his house looks like. Ooh, it's very relaxing in here. I like how the colors are very, very cool. It makes for a very calming effect. Okay, I really like that. So again, I'm going to do the usual rundown. Go to the left, go to the back, go to the right, and then go to the upstairs and the downstairs. So let's see what room he has in here. I'm betting it's either a bathroom or a kitchen. Could be wrong. Ooh. Yeah, I was definitely wrong because it's not a bathroom or a kitchen. Oh, I like it really nice choice with the music too and I know it's just the soundtrack for New Horizons but it's a pretty song oh I like this room I like all the colors oh this is so pretty okay let's go see what the back room looks like I thought it was gonna be a bathroom or a kitchen usually because whenever I make a house the left is always a bathroom or a kitchen and a lot of islands that I visit it tends to be a bathroom or a kitchen see what's back here okay this is the bathroom and it is a gorgeous bathroom at that so okay I don't know if anybody else knew this but basically in the game whenever you eat a fruit of any kind it doesn't matter what it is you just eat one and then you sit on the toilet and like once you get up it like gives you like this weird notification that says something like well that takes care of that which is like kind of gross if you ask me um, but I like when Nintendo puts like little Easter eggs in there I like this room Again, the colors are very calming, but also it's very bright and it's very intricate and it, it makes you want to go and look at all the details. I really like it. So let's check out the room to the right and then go upstairs and downstairs. Oh, I really like this. Okay, this is the kitchen. That really threw me off because I'm so used to, again, the left being the bathroom or the kitchen, the back being a bathroom or a kitchen, and then the right room being a guest room. And the fact that the right room is a kitchen kind of messes with me a little bit because I'm not used to it being like that. But I like it. I like this coffee machine. In fact, I want this coffee machine. Oh, I like this. A cozy little kitchen. I like the wallpaper. Okay, I'm going to go check out the upstairs. What I liked about that room was how it was interesting enough that you wanted to check out all the details and interact with stuff like the coffee machine. But it also had basic enough colors that it wasn't too like in your face and the coloring wasn't like obnoxious or anything. Ooh, okay, so this is the bedroom. Oh, I like this. I like how he sectioned off, like, this is his bed area. This is his whole resting area. This is where he relaxes. But then over here, you have the office type area. Oh, I really like this. And I like that he had the chair pushed back enough that your character could actually sit in it. Because if you push office chairs like that too far forward, you can't sit in it because of the arms on the chair. I really like that room. Now let's check out the basement, see what he has in there. Now, so far, I've seen a lot of game rooms in the basement, which there's nothing wrong with those. I love a good game room. Let's see what he did with his basement. Okay, this is definitely... Okay, okay, it's a game room, but it's very unique compared to the other game rooms that I saw. Like, it has a lot of its own differences, because I've never seen a pool in a game room, first of all. I've never seen anybody try that. So, props to you for being unique and the fresh ideas. And I really like that you have this section off corner where your characters and your, like, your friends could play the games. But then you have this area over here for maybe characters that aren't really into video games. And they could like be over here and like play in the pool. I like that. I like that you went with the path of making it different from other people's game rooms. But you still added your own touch to it. And I really, really enjoyed that. I enjoyed it a lot. Okay, so when I get outside, I'm going to check the map and see where else we can go. 
Okay, so it looks like I'm at his house right now. I'm going to continue going to the right a little bit and then go down and then go back to the plaza. So let's see what else there is for us in store. Also, is this a lamp? No. I feel like I keep thinking literally every mushroom I see is a lamp. Okay, ooh. Oh, I like this. It's an outdoor tailor shop. Oh, I love it. I've always kind of wanted to learn how to sew. Oh, and you could like change outfits in here and have like a little fashion show with your friends. I love that. Is this a lamp? Okay, I keep, that is so funny. I keep going up to everything thinking it's like a lamp or like if it's a rock thinking you could sit on it. It's because they take some of the rocks in the game and some of the flowers or, or the mushrooms and they turn it into a lamp or some piece of furniture, but they don't make very many changes to it. So I don't know which ones are the lamps and which ones aren't. Oh, I like this. I like the little crescent moon chair. I don't have one of these, but I really, really want one. And I like how that he made sure that the lamp correlated with the seat. Let's go right here. Ooh, we've got a nice little flower garden. Oh, we've got another teacup ride. Okay, well, I want to know. So when you start the game, whatever color roof that you get for your airport will dictate some of the color furniture that you can get from um, Nook. And basically, the color that I have is the very bright one. It has, like, red and, like, yellow and blue on it. But that one's, like, very pink and it has, like, pastel colors. How do you get that if I saw that you already had the very, very colorful one? How do you do that? Because I want to know. Okay, let's go over here. Oh, I like these hyacinth lamps. I said in a previous video that I really, really wanted one of those. I really, really want one. Um, is there just a DIY recipe for it? Is there a special thing that you can do to turn it into a lamp? I don't know. Okay, so we've seen our friend Eddie over here. Let's go say hi to him again. Hello. Blessing, sweet child. Okay. Ooh, I wonder who lives here. Blair's house. Who's Blair? I don't think I've ever heard of that character. I like this. just like a cute little tea party area for you and your friends. And another little bookshop area. Again, I feel like... If you actually had that in real life, people would literally steal from it. I would I would be too scared to use one because I feel like somebody would steal my books that I'm trying to let people borrow. I like this whole area back here. It gives me very much pirate vibes, but also like fantasy vibes, if you will, because of like the pirate themed items. I really like it. In fact, so far, that's actually my favorite part of the island. I haven't seen very much like pirate themed stuff that people do with their islands, so Thank you for being unique, and I really, really like it. Ooh, what do we have over here? Okay, first of all, I gotta figure out a way to get over there. Can I, can I cut through here? Can I cut through? Okay, cool. Ooh, is this like another throne type area? Make you feel like royalty? I really like this. This whole golden theme. It's kind of like a fantasy theme. There's Flurry again. Hello, Flurry. Oh, we've got a cute little mermaid area. Oh, I like this. Well, I like the music, too. All right, let's get down. Ooh, and there's more mermaid furniture. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Mermaid furniture everywhere. But I really like the mermaid furniture. It's one of my favorite sets in the game. Oh, I like this. And I like that the bed is really close to the water. I feel like in real life, that'd actually be really, really relaxing. And another thing, you see that crown? I want that crown. I want one. It's like the tiaras that go at the front of your head instead of the big crowns that they sell at the Able Sisters. Ooh, what's over here? Is this like a little little fashion area or something? Okay. We've got a nice little area you could go fishing at. Like if this was real, this would be like the perfect fishing area. Okay, what's over here? Ooh, it's like a little birthday party. Whose birthday is it? It's definitely not mine. My birthday's in May. Oh, I like this. Oh, I like this a lot. You could have a little party over here with all your friends. Like maybe if one of your friends, um, it was their birthday. You could all come over here and have a little party. Have some dinner together. Have some cake and ice cream or something. Oh, I like this. Ooh, what's over here? You could take nice pictures over here. Okay. Ooh. Let's see what's over here. I feel like the vibes that I'm getting from this, it gives me like vibes of like a skating rink that you'd go to when you were a kid to have a party with one of your friends from school. I don't know about anybody else, but it gives me like party city type vibes. Ooh, I've never seen these hats before, these ice cream hats. Low key, I kind of, ooh, 
Oh, that's Bubblegum KK. I recognize that song. That's my island theme. All right, so let's move out of this party. Hmm. Ooh, we've got like an outdoor laundromat over here. I love that. Once again, I love, love, love when people make little areas into something much bigger instead of just leaving it to something simple. All right, and I will see you when I get back to my house so I can give you a review about this island. Okay, so I'm back at my house, and my thoughts on this island was I really, really enjoyed that one corner, like the upper right corner that looked like a whole pirate themed. I really liked the fantasy vibes that I got from it. What I also really, really enjoyed about this island was that different sections, he would take smaller sections and make it into something big, make it its own theme. Every little inch of land had its own theme. It had a little something to spice it up and make it a little bit better. And I really, really appreciate about it, that about him. I really appreciate that he made sure that every bit of it was covered, but at the same time, it was somehow not too overwhelming. And I really, really like that about his island. If you're interested in checking it out, I will leave the dream address in the description below. I will also link his Twitter below if you would like to follow him. And that is the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Please click the like button and subscribe. Bye!